Hey guys, for this how-to, you're going to need a couple of materials, including water, brushes, ink, watercolors, mixed media or watercolor paper, and paper towels. You're going to want to start with your rough sketch, which is basically what you're going to ink and color over. Mix your watercolors and your water until you get the colors that you want. I like to have a sheet of paper on the side to make sure that I'm always using the color that I need. When it comes to watercolors, I like to start off with lighter washes with more water and then get darker as I go, kind of to add a base for your line work. As other colors dry, I also like to add additional colors to increase the depth of the image. Feel free to go on to other parts of the drawing while they dry, like the hair. have two small water containers so while you change colors you can clean the brush but not completely change the colors that you're using. Now I'm just kind of filling in a couple of areas and tattoos that I had sketched out with some red and black ink and watercolor just to kind of block them out for our inking stage. For inking I'm using India ink, a couple of micron brushes, and a Pentel pocket brush pen. important features like the face and smaller detailed areas like the tattoo, I like to use thinner lines to emphasize the area but not completely overwhelm it. Here I'm adding general guidelines to show me the hair flow over her shoulders. Sometimes it's better to have a guide to help you. When it comes to textures like hair and fur, there are a variety of techniques that you can use. I personally start thick and decrease my pressure towards the end to end with a gradient effect. The lighter area in the gradient gives an impression of shine and movement, kind of gives it a flow. To save some time with inking, I block out large areas with plain ink and just go from there. As you can see, varying angles and degrees of pressure change how the lines come out. That being said, it's all about practice. <laughs> 